Okay. Hello and welcome to everyone. We're now going to make hidden heroes. Hidden heroes tier list. So we finished the human tier list, the demonic tier list, and the undead tier list. We have for every one of them an extended and the short version, except of demonic. We don't have the um, long version for demonic because um, the video just. We had some difficulties, let's say it like this. Hype, 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 hype. So, now let's do the hidden heroes tier list. And the thing is, there are only four of them. So this should, wait. Yeah, there's only four of them. So this should be, this should be actually rather, rather easy, like rather fast. I think we can get the T, D, C, B, A gone, so they were probably going to be S, 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 or S, S, S tier. Let's see if they themselves have like differences. No, they are like all S, S, S. And uh, we're definitely still going to look for the 5 stars. Oh wow, upgrading them to 10 stars. <laughs> Good luck. And we're starting now with Leto. Little, little, little. Yeah, I wonder how you upgrade them actually. So we're going to start with Leto now. Leto is a warrior. Uh, first of all, his stats. For a warrior, his HP pool is good. That's good. His damage is actually okay ish. They are stronger ones right for instance if you if you check the out um, this guy for instance 24,000 as a human I mean human has burst uh, warrior 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 I mean yes there's only 13,000 Gargoyles, I mean this guy also, no, this 11,000, hmm. there we go, 22,000 Casio. So overall, uh, the damage is, hmm. the HP is crazy for a warrior, he's not a tank, he's a warrior. Really good, and um, armor is also over average. So overall, so far he looks more like a like tanky tanky warrior right let's see what he has smash a small area ahead boom to knock enemies there off and stun them for one second damage is them for 500 percent attack power and gain a 30 percent max hp shield for five seconds so again um he is getting tankier getting 30 percent max hp shield and his hp is big so this shield is actually pretty good and it's just stunning them and like 500 power attack yeah but 20,000 attack power it's okay the shield factor i think here is the real factor can i add word while explain i can do something like this Because you see everything that I see. You see the skill, you see this thing, and here I'm going to like invert, I'm going to like write down. Oh, so did you see his career? Uh, okay, wait a second. Um, wait, so first of all, we know that we're not going to have this. So what we can do is just doing like this. Okay. Better? Awesome, you're welcome. So, so far he is actually more of a tank. So far he's actually more of a tank. I mean, yes, stunning them CC for one second, but it's also a small area, knocking them off. 
damaging them for 500% attack power with 20,000. It's it's okay, it's okay. But the gain 30% max HP as shield, that's actually huge. Okay, then increase attack by 30, okay. Uh, thrown a punch forward, knocking off enemies in line, stun them for one second and damage them for 25 attack power. So every four seconds, you also have like a one second stun. So stun, and then uh, like one, two, no, the sec it, it, no, no, it's like one, and then like one, two, three, four, one. Um, yeah. I mean, he's tanky. Getting this skill with this build, I mean, his damage is like not the best. His attack speed is not the best. So doing something like this is pretty, pretty good. Like for a tank warrior, like you have a lot of HP, which means you're going to last a long, which means you're going to use his talents quite often. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 20,000 damage is actually top 6. Yeah, but I mean, he's a hidden hero, so top 6 is, uh, hmm, hmm, you know? Okay, talent 2. Reduce damage taken by 15%. Taunt enemies for one second upon hit. And how often does it proc? Game, a little bit more explanation, please. Oh no, upon hit, so he hits. Come on, come with me. But he hits one time in a second, so... Does he, in, like, infinity taunts as long as he don't run? I mean, Cassio would, ki uh, would eat him, right? Let's see. Increase HP 50%, gain 1.5% HP restores for every taunted enemy alive. Oof, so this is why his HP is strong. Gain 1.5 HP restore for every taunted enemy alive. So you attack, taunt, heal, heal, like stun enemies, heal, heal, woof, gain 30 max uh, HP as shield, heal. Yeah, he is. Well, good balance. He is more of a prolonged, but like he is not going to go down and he is just going to stun you and heal you. He is more of a tank. He is, in my opinion, he is a tank. If this works together. No, he's like, it's it's like every four seconds they just use using this. So, this is rage meter and this is four seconds. It's like two abilities. I'm gonna go at how but you're just uh, going to say it's uh, OP before you go. Yes, but he is more of a tank. Like, I don't know why his career is a warrior. He is going to be your frontliner that's going to taunt enemies all the time, that's going to heal himself all the time, that's going to CC them all the time. So again, something that works really well with Demonic. Why does everything work really well with Demonic? Uh, oh, you mean the, the this one? Oh, wow. I don't know. But might be. It's a small area. No but look at this. They knock him and stun him for one second. And then he taunts them for one second. So it doesn't matter. Like st stand, taunt. Only like he's healing then. For a lot. This could be. But yeah, Leto is your frontline tank. That is like. He don't get bursted. He has a lot of HP, a lot of HP regeneration. His taunt is going to mess up. 
Yeah. Yeah. 1.5, no, 1.5 HP for every taunted enemy alive. And he has a ton of uh, HP. So this is actually huge. 1.5 HP for every taunted enemy. Every second he taunts an enemy. At least one, right? If he taunts, like if he attacks. And getting 1.5, like imagine having like, even if you don't have like summons, but just taunting three, it's like 4.5 HP. 4.5 percent hp which um like uh, with your um with your high hp pool that's actually pretty huge yeah, yeah two to three he's not going to taunt everyone there's a small area so it's really only ahead but yeah. So I have no idea how others are. Right? So this is why we can't put like... We just have to put him like in the SS. Because I still like don't know how good are the others. Right? Elf Soul and yeah, look, Elf Soul going to heal him as as well all the time. Crab can reach him, and then he's going to be healed by uh, Soof. Also, Alchemist. You know what? The the low tier Alchemist is going to be super good with Leto. Yeah, I still don't know how good he is in, in uh, the spider on, on the other heroes. Maybe he's going to drop to S if the others are like superb. Because yes, he is good. Actually, maybe I should just drop him now to S. Because now that I think about this. No, actually, yeah, he is, yeah, he is good. Yeah, not, not close to SSS, not close. Devil Prince can be immune uh, at CC and invincible for 4 seconds when taking fatal damage. Wait, Devil Prince? Where did you see this with the de fatal damage? Leto is a team player tank. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, he's supposed to be a warrior, but he is actually... He's more of a tank. Actually, I, I'm not sure if you really want him to put with another tank. No, no, no. You want to support him, actually. You want to have, like, Elf Soul. You want to build somehow... He is a strong frontliner already. Having another frontliner? I'm not sure. Oh, exclusive architect. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, stops from focusing on your wicked team. Exactly. Giant later cast up as two support healer healers. Yeah, then you're like never going to go down. Actually, yeah, the giant would work good. He will spawn behind your main tank. Makes him stronger. Hmm. I mean, I'm not sure if you really need Cassio. I think Leto and Giant, two support healers, and then a ranged damage dealer, actually. But he works with Demonic. Yeah, he's really good. I like him. Okay, let's go Ito. Ito. 
an archer super good uh, health for an archer the damage is also quite good uh, let's actually see how much did she have 19 okay so Ito really good um, HP for a backliner really like good damage yeah, yeah, that's 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 quite nice damage for an archer for like for a backliner and the attack speed is actually super good. Let's see what her skills are. Uh, pull the bow for a while and then shoot a powerful arrow through enemy ranks, damaging target for five hundred percent. Wait, pull the bow for a while. Okay, so it's just through enemy ranks, damage damage target. So she's going to probably attack one to two enemies at least and adding one layer of talent one increase attack speed by 50 percent for five seconds this is actually huge because her attack speed is already high and also it's going to adding one layer of talent one so let's see what talent one is so so far 21,000 damage with 500 that's going to hit at least like two in front maybe even three uh, and attack speed 50 percent that's actually huge Let's see, increases attack by 30%. Okay, there is 25% chance of shooting a special arrow upon hit, dealing 200% damage to all enemies and absorbing 20% attack speed of the target for three. Okay, so she's debuffing. Debuffing? So dealing damage to all enemies. Wait, 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 wait. There is a 25% chance of shooting a special arrow upon hit. Dealing 200 damage to all enemies. All enemies. And absorbing 20% attack speed of the target. So one target. So she's shooting to someone. The damage deals to all enemies. But the attack speed of the target. Like if it's like gargoyle. It's actually pretty good. Otherwise if it's a tank. It's like meh. Okay and this. What does it do? Adding one layer of talent one. Oh. No, I don't understand. Does it mean that it's damaging through plus it also damaging everyone for 220 attack speed? She debuffs everyone by 20% attack speed and buffs herself with 100 attack speed. If every enemy has one attack speed. Hey. No, she increases herself by 50% attack speed. And debuffing only on one. It's of the target, not, not of the targets. But what about the Slayer? Damaging targets for 500% attack type. And adding, okay, and adding one layer of talent one. Let's actually see. Adding one layer of talent one. So just using. Hmm. So it's penetrates. Boom. All the targets getting damaged. A lot. Boom. No. Yeah, damaging targets. So the targets inside uh, doing. And also, it adds talent one. So talent one is also going to proc. So then, like her attack is dealing 500% damage to the enemies in line, plus 200% to all enemies, and absorbing of this target um, that she hit initially, 20% of attack speed, while increasing her attack speed by 50%. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rage and I get, yeah, exactly what I think as well. Okay, let's go turn to increase attack speed by okay, this is why her attack speed is good. Reduce the healing effect of the target 30% for three seconds upon hit. So she hits with this thing. Then it hits everyone. Then the one target getting also slowed. 
and when she hits it, it also reduces the healing effect of the target for 3 seconds upon hit. But since he hits everyone, everyone is going to be uh, not getting like, like the heal by 30%. The rage is stackable, but the healing effect unstackable. So she just hits, 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 and then he can't, like his healing effect is just slow. So she's really good against everyone that can heal. So she's actually good against this guy and everything that comes around this guy. And also against a UE heal like Alchemist. Yeah, so far, so far, yes, but we still haven't seen Ito's third ability. Wait, what do you mean 20% of the target you're going to be... wait. No, it's only absorbing 20% attack speed of the target. It's only one. Not each target. Of the target. Even this will proc only this by one. You're damaging all enemies. But you're absorbing of the target. So you... it's like... You shoot a, you shoot a, uh, like, let's say with the skill, you shoot a penetrating arrow, it's going through, it's damaging at least like one, two people with 500%, then it's like an explosion that's going to damage everyone for 200, but the initial target that you actually focused, you're going to steal his attack speed. No, it doesn't steal per target. It's just dealing damage to all enemies and then and absorbing 20% attack speed of the target. It's not the targets. It's not all targets. It's just the target. It's just one singular. And no, the, the rage skill also don't apply to everyone. This damages everyone. So like I told you before, you shoot the star, it's getting through, boom. It's uh, damaging a lot, then it's like an explosion that's damaging everyone as well. And then the first target getting um, robbed of attack speed plus everyone reduces their healing effect by 30%. And then the first one, like the, the next one that he's going to affect. Does it say it applies to everyone? Say damaging targets power and adding one layer of talent one. Yeah, let's go for talent three. Let's decide, because so far she's actually even, hmm, I'm not sure if she's above, well, actually her damage is really good, and offsetting healing, yeah. So let's see what this is. Okay, gain HP and gain 40%, so first of all, she already got the HP, right? And gain 40% chance to bewitch the target for 2.5 seconds when being attacked. Bewitch enemies will be silenced and attack their allies. Okay, next one. Yassa! <laughs> like what? What is this? It's being attacked, so it doesn't matter if uh, the melee attacks her, run answer, or range attack, AoE. Like, boom! Attack her for then for 2.5 seconds, it's going to fight like the allies but it's going silent so it's not going to have like super amazing like abilities whatever are going to cast on your allies so it's just going to attack but still everything with a high attack attack speed like gargoyle and this has a four seconds cooldown so she's actually like safe for 2.5 seconds and then and then only she can do so yeah something like aoe is going to be 
not good and something that this piercing is not good I mean that she silenced the bewitched uh, enemies is actually pretty pretty neat like it's good for the opposite team uh, team no no it's if she getting hit No, 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 it's, it's if, she, if she getting hit. It's not if she hits. It says gain 40% chance to, um, like, gain 30%. Uh, 30%. Wait, actually, the 30% HP is not here. She's still going to gain 30% HP and gain 40% chance to be uh, witch the target for 2.5 seconds. And she already has a decent HP pool. So she's getting hits, more HP. Um, oh, it's only 40% chance to bewitch. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's not 100%. Okay. It's still pretty good. Like, what is her 10 star, by the way? It's just the HP that's going to be good. Okay. Um, above so yeah this means yeah that's 40% is still pretty good being bewitched means you that you all that he also don't attack you for 2.5 seconds so he's attacking an ally he don't attack you it's actually like a stun but a better stun Molian yeah, Molian can actually silence you. But if Molian attacks Ito and don't silence, and then Ito's chance is like higher than Molian's, Molian's is like 20%, this one is 40%, then your Molian is starting to attack the others. She's getting like silenced, but Molian's attack is still strong, so she might actually deal quite some damage to your backliner, or anyway, or like the frontliner as well, while being silenced. While Ito is get, uh, going to get like more HP, and then after 2.5 seconds, you have 1.5 seconds. And in this 2.5 seconds, if you build up rage, and you also have to think about this, you have penetrating arrow that's dealing 500 damage plus 200 damage, so you dealing actually 700 damage to at least one target. And her attack is pretty strong, so yeah, I still see her as SSS. Mm, I don't think Bewitch is a CC. Bewitch is a uh, anomaly status and not a CC status, which means even it's like silence. This means you still can't be bewitched even if you CC immune. It's 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 not like stun or something like this. The witch is not CC. The, the witch is a status anomaly, and if you um, CC immune, you don't have like status anomaly. Yeah, everyone that can attack fast, or AUE attackers, or yeah, so it's still pretty good, making her tanky. I like her. I mean, I like her more than Leto, to be honest. She has a ton of damage. She destroys your party if it's not... Um, she destroys your party if it's not tanky. And since this applies upon hits, which means... And she hits everyone with this one. Means that everyone can't like really heal that much as well. Like this is also the reason that the heal stacks is actually then up to 60 instead of 30. Mm -hmm. And also her normal attack also has a chance to hit everyone for 200 damage. And absorbing like 20% um, attack speed. 
but I don't see that it's set it only can be triggered once which means yeah actually she's starting absorbing and starting absorbing I guess so she deals a lot of damage and that's fast too but she's pretty much immune to enemies that focus back on us yeah She now has Cassiocas his rage is 6 attack which is pretty certain to bewitch him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's also 4 seconds cooldown so it's not OP, OP, oh my god, E2 is the best. But in my opinion it's better than Leto. It's a ton of damage that can like kill any supporters. Super easy. Okay, let's go Yasa. Like, what's going on with these mages that have like more HP than some tanks? Okay, we have Yasa. More HP, a little bit more uh, damage than uh, Ito, but less like attack speed. You also have to think about this. Her attack speed is strong, so even stealing 20% attack speed is crazy. Okay, let's see. Yasa. Overall looking good already Nice book. Let's see what he has Consti Continuous casting State Damn look how much text this is I'm going to read this to you Actually let's do it like this So Continuously casting state Magic balls will be continuously emitted from the staff to attack the surrounding enemies Three magic balls are fired every 0.33 seconds to So three magic balls are fired to every 0.33 seconds to random enemies. So it's like nine fireballs per second the the, it's like eruption, like right? yeah, surrounding enemies. Um, uh, six the enemy attack the enemy. The magic balls attack power is sixty percent of Yasar's attack power, but still you have like to think about it. It's like uh, sixty is per run, and you have nine magic balls, so you have actually four hundred fifty percent per second attack power per second. Uh, attack by magic ball will add a layer of debuff stat stacking up to five uh, layers will trigger random effect Okay um, Are the fireballs aoe? No, they're not so which means after two seconds the possibility is high if you have a lot of frontliners So he's good already. I can tell you if there is like a few frontliners SSSOP Black Lion from Mess. Wait. <laughs> okay, let's see. So the magic. Wait, wait, wait. So the first one. So it's every time the layer gets five layers, it triggers random effect. So first one is reduction in maximum energy. So it just. Your rage goes down. Stun them for 1.5 seconds. So every two seconds you can stun up to 1.5 seconds Like approximately two seconds because you're going to fight against more than one If you're going to fight against one enemy actually no actually it's nine fireballs per second So if there are like two enemies You're going to stun him every second one of them to four one point five seconds, maybe or deal 300% additional damage. Secret battle ritual needs to continue casting. Being controlled will interrupt skills. If not interrupted, it will continue until all the enemies are defeated. What? <laughs> okay. So, it's, it's like this. His rage meter fills up. 
and then he's like, okay, boys, let's go. Let's go minigun. And the fireball's like... Hitting like everything like random. But wait, it's... Um... I take the surrounding enemies, but... Yeah, it will continue. So it just... Attack everything around him. Adding fire flares is pretty easy. So one of these effects is going to be so he's either going to okay you are stunned you get um, a magic um, uh, maximum energy reduction boom additional damage. Secret battle needs to continue casting. Secret battle oh so this the skill uh, is named secret battle rit um, ritual. So he's like continuing this being controlled with interrupt skills. So only if someone interrupts him. If not interrupted, it will continue until the, all, all the enemies are defeated. So he's just da 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 until the fight is over. Seems like a really fun hero. Okay, let's see. Tell him to increase attack by 30, okay. Gain a 60% chance to damage all enemies for 60% attack power during the battle ritual. 60% chance to damage all enemies for 60% attack power. But when does it activate? Per, per hit? It's like one fireball is not going only to um, hit one, but like everyone. Like a 60% chance that one fireball is going to attack everyone, or what? More explanation, please. But I actually assume it's really, it's like 60% of the time that a fireball, and a fireball, so actually every second, at least, every enemy is going to get 60% at, oh my god. Okay, increase HP by 20. Become immune to control debuffs for 1.5 seconds when casting the secret bat battle ritual. Which means if you're going to cast it, you now can't be interrupted. So you actually have to at least time to get a layer to maybe stun them. So you can't be stunned or whatsoever. So you activate this at least 1.5 seconds. In 1.5 seconds, you're already unleashed with three fireballs every three hours. So nine, twelve, fifteen, fifteen fireballs you already unleashed. So you probably reduce the energy by the enemy, or stun them, or deal damage, or thingy. Okay, become immune to control debuffs for one time when casting the secret. Wait, what? So he is immune to control debuffs when casting this ritual and then he become immune to control debuffs again for one time when casting the secret battle ritual or for first time. I don't understand this hero but as far as I know this sounds really good. No, 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 no. Three magic balls are fired every 0 0.33 seconds. So it is three magic balls every 0 0.33 seconds. So it's nine magic balls per second. Yeah, nine every second. And when, he, and when he casts this, he's like immune for 1.5 seconds as well. So you're going to dish out like 15 fireballs before you could be control debuffed. Like silence or something like this. 
But this I don't understand. Become immune to control debuffs for one time and causing the secret bear. I mean, we already have this here, right? Also, look at this, get a 60% to enemies for 60 power, 61 attack power, and 62 attack power. <laughs> so I think this is really like every fireball, because otherwise it would probably go like 2 OP. Yeah, for three times for three seconds. I think it's uh, just a translation. But I don't understand it. It's like it's the same skill. Wait, it is the same skill. I think I think it's it's. Uh... Oh, oh! Now I'm realizing it's the same skill. I mean, um, it's probably a mistypo. So this is, yeah. So one of them is wrong. Like one of them does actually something uh, something different. But I mean the HP apply is real, so here is HP 40, here is HP 40. Because for three times it's just three seconds. Or is additive and he's like six seconds six seconds immune. I mean if he really is six seconds immune, casting the fireball pop, 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 with a lot of damage where the fireballs have a chance to um, hit everything as well. He's actually like Ito to be honest. Yes, uh. like she is dealing a ton of damage constant like immediately and he's like ta -ta 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 I mini gun you Yeah, I should see him as equal as um, Ito. But this sounds like a fun hero. I would really like probably to have him. If I would choose uh, between these three, I would probably choose this guy. And let's see the fourth. Guys, the fourth. The last but not least. Chapma. It's also a mage. With okay... Um, like see, see her uh, HP, his HP, he has average HP, good damage. So, so far, he doesn't look like that superior as the others. But let's see how this will end up. Summons a black hole at the center of the field to draw close surrounding enemies, stun them for a while and deal up to 40% damage. Um, how long is for a while? And deal up to 40% damages. How big is the black hole? Center of the field and draw close surrounding enemies. How long is for a while? How big is the draw? Increase attack by 30, okay. Summon a dark wave every 2.5 seconds. So 1, 2, two, two On the most populated enemy field. Okay, and deal damage for 450 attack power to the enemies in a small field. Oh, so he black. Ah, I understand it. He black holes it, and then it just zoom. Dark wave. Okay, good against summonings as well. Every 2.5 seconds. Okay. 
grant itself a dark shield, offsets 75% of any damage taken that exceeds 10% exceeds of its max HP, at the expense of losing 0.5 max HP per second. So someone is attacking him, he getting a dark shield, getting only 25% uh, damage, if it would succeed 10%, so like 30k. So like crits are not going to be that great and he's only losing to 0.5%. So it's actually an anti-crit. You need at least 10 hits to actually kill him. I have to admit, actually I thought this guy would be insane, but so far it just... I mean, this is still good. I mean, how long is for a while? I have a, before we know this, increase critical rate 15, gain a 50% chance to summon the dark wave under the feet of the target upon hit. Now this looks better. But 50% chance with one um, attack per, per second. I'll be honest. Yeah, I mean, of course, all four of them are actually pretty solid and strong, but out of them four, I think Chapma is the least overwhelming one. Okay, a 10 stars is actually good. Every 1.5 seconds, it's also summoning 450 attack power. And uh, 30 cents, uh, no, no. He's a tanky range unit, actually. I think I would like to have either Yasar or Ito. I like them both. He's pretty hard to kill. Yeah, he's overall pretty hard to kill. Hmm. So, 818. So one hour we needed for this about. So guys, let's let's go. A summarization of the hidden heroes and um, what tier they are. So first of all, wow, wow, wow. Sorry. Um. Yeah, his DPS is quite good. So first of all. The tier list now is also only prov uh, only concluding the hidden heroes and only the five star heroes. So without any uh, rare super artifact equipment whatsoever. So an S Champma, for instance, it does mean that uh, I'm setting him at the same level as an Elf Soul, for instance, or as a Hell Mage. No, it just in between all these heroes. Uh, in my opinion, Chapma is S, Lito is SS, and then we have uh, Ito and Yasa as the SSS. So why is Chapma uh, the, I, I would say like one of the underwhelming characters. So first of all, his first ability is a little bit, there. there is information that is like not available. For instance, it's telling summons a black hole in the center of the field to draw close surrounding enemies. How big is this black hole? How many so like how close do they mean with the uh, close? Also stun them for a while. How long is for a while? We need numbers. We can't just say, yeah, stun them like uh, for a while. If it's like five seconds, ten seconds, then poof, he's like S S S S S. You know? If it's like one second, he's like still at this pace. Um then every uh 2.5 seconds he's actually do, dealing a small AOE which is pretty strong in a field where like the most crowded enemies are so it's, he's actually pretty good at um, uh, summonings then he's also tanky so every time someone is going to attack him like with a crit for a lot of damage he offsets the most of this damage 
and um, yeah just losing like only 25% of this damage plus 0.5% uh, max HP per second so you're getting like a dark shield so it's a tanky range and uh, then he also uh, has a chance upon hit to cast his talent one but the chance is not big and his attack speed is bad so mm, yeah then Leto Leto he said it says he's a warrior but to be honest he's more of a tank he has a ton of HP uh, almost the most HP like only the uh, the giant uh, the, the stone giant has like more HP I mean okay this is 10 style but the, the 5 star and I think that's it uh, his damage is solid his defense is like average for a warrior not for a tank so he's really good he's really good CC like um, he stuns in a small area ahead everyone for one second and also gaining 30% max HP and like damaging them as well like actually 500 attack power for 20,000 it's actually pretty pretty sweet so he's di dishing out also a lot of damage then his talent one every four seconds he actually stunned someone for one second which is also pretty neat also with a higher attack power uh, he reduces um, like his damage is reduced again like more tanky build and he also taunts every enemies for one second after he hits so he hits taunts 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 and when he's doing this he is getting 1.5 hp restore for every taunted enemy alive so he heals 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 which is actually pretty neat and yeah more healing then we go Ito and Yasa so Ito is super strong if she is going to activate her rage ability it's going to make a huge blast so just to sum up her ability is going to be a penetrating arrow that's hitting like maybe one maybe two heroes for 500 attack power then it's adding one layer of talent one we still don't understand what, like what actually this means but we assume that they're just proccing talent one and also her uh, attack speed is going to be increased for 50 uh, percent for five seconds and her attack speed is already high which uh, make her super strong um so she hits everyone with a penetrating arrow then talent one activates this means every enemy unit will deal uh, get 200 percent damage to all enemies so at least 1000 percent damage in the beginning if they're like all five enemies you know it's like 200 200 200 200 200 so in total 1000 which is with her high attack power pretty damn strong also it's absorbing 20 percent attack speed of like i assume the target that she was aiming so absorbing so she now attacks even faster and the thing is this talent has a 20 percent chance to actually proc which means she attacks fast it procs she attacks faster it procs she attacks faster procs, 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 procs you know so she is like damage super good damage um and also when she hits everyone she also negotiate uh, like um, the healing effect of targets is actually going to um, being reduced by 30 percent which is pretty good and the duration is tackled but not the healing effect but if she attacks everyone with her 200 damage and even if she attacks one it's you can actually say it's like permanent almost so every like healing effect like elf soul and stuff like this it's not going to be like that good also like tanks as well so she's just killing with this even though she's attacking the tanks with her skill she actually killing the backliners and her last uh, attack is actually like really insane if someone actually dares to attack her because first of all she she is tanky by the way she's getting more hp and a chance if she's getting attacked to bewitch the target so the target is going to be 
2.5 seconds bewitched this means he getting silenced so none of his talent or abilities work and he attacking the enemy like a normal attack if he has like for instance high attack speed and high attack you see the point right uh, this only can proc every four seconds but it's still pretty strong especially in a like 1v1 you know okay also you have to think about it if someone gets bewitched he don't attack your um, enemies uh, your allies so it's actually really good also really good against CC and at the same tier we have Yasa Yasa is uh, I don't know I think the developers just wanted to have like a super fun character to like laugh about I mean to laugh with it against the enemy they probably just said hey uh, let's actually make a fun build let's actually just I don't know I want to try five Yasas in my team just to have fun and then he like just laughed off so what does Yasa do Whew, okay um, I think some of the text is still like a little bit buggy weird but let's go First of all, if he is going to do the rage, he is going to attack with three fireballs that fires every 0.33 seconds. Also, his stats are really good, really high uh, HP, really good damage, and yeah. So it's line nine fireballs per second, which means in total, like one fireball is you know 60% damage, so it's 450% damage per second, constantly. So. Actually, now that I think about it, this is insane. 450% uh, 450 damage per second, every second. That's actually pretty good. Also, additionally, um, if it hits one target five times, like it um, puts a, a layer on them. If, uh, and if it uh, hits them five times, then either they get like the redu a 50% reduction of maximum energy so they're going to lose at least 50% of the maximum energy so despite of how um, much rage they have or stun them for 1.5 second seconds or deal additional 300% um, damage um, also it can only be interrupted with a interruption like silence stun otherwise it's just going to continuously um also every fireball has a 60 percent chance to um deal 60 percent attack to all enemies so it's like and um this means if all enemies going to be attacked that the layer is also applying to all the enemies. Now that I'm thinking about this, I think Yasuo is even above Yato. Okay, now we go to the problem. Here, Talon 2 and Talon 3 is somehow the same, but somehow not the same. So I actually assume it's additive. So this, you're becoming uh, immune to control debuffs for 1.5 seconds. So you starting this, da 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 da. Now for 1.5 seconds, you just can't be silenced or targeted or whatever because it's um, immune to control debuffs. And also you're going to get for one more second, it seems like it. So you actually, for 2.5 seconds, you just constantly da 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 so in 2.5 seconds you already dished out more than 900% damage and you continue actually like out of this four I would actually like to have Yasa he looks like a really fun hero I would like to have him okay if you like this by the way um the the um, tier list don't forget to like and subscribe and also uh, as you know I or not know I uploaded every tier list up onto YouTube, so like nature, de demons, humans, and undead. Feel free to check them out. Oi, 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 oi. Finished. Wow.